In previous section, we obtained the gain circles and um, the two gammas, the gamma S and gamma L, uh, in order to design a matching circuit. So in this part, we are going to design a matching circuit, and after that, uh, we will do uh, the we will actually find the the overall gain to see if it matches uh, with the results uh, or not. So actually, our goal, if you remember, uh, was to have 11 dB for our gain. So uh, let's see how we can start here. So uh, in order to make it precise, I actually made the circles uh, with more dots. So as you see, the number of points are 200 here. You can also change yourself. So let's uh, do one simulation. So now uh, I try to exactly set them here to the middle. As you see, we agreed on this point. So for this one, we said that we want to have a gain circle, uh, the gain of two, the GS2. And so it's going to be 336. Uh, I'm going to put this 120. So let's start from this point. But again, we have the same thing. If you remember, we said that because this is gamma S. So we have to put uh, the f our phase negative because uh, we are uh, designing for the ZL. Uh, and ZL is, uh, we are going to assume the ZL is the conjugate of ZS. So uh, I go to, uh, first you have to go to your Smith chart matching part and uh, use the symbol as we agreed before. So we learned uh, this part and then we are going to go uh, Smith chart. So uh, don't forget to put the frequency to set it for four gigahertz. And so for load, I'm going to have three, three, six. And this time minus 120 because this is ZL, this is not ZS. Don't forget about this. And now I can design my matching circuit. Uh, so I can uh, put uh, some, uh, can put a series uh, line from here to admittance, and then I can use a open maybe to come to the to the middle. So this is my impedance matching circuit. And uh, the ZS is 50. Don't forget to put ZS 50. So now you can do be build ADS. So if you go inside the circuit, you have this one. So I'm going to copy this. It's better to copy instead of using this. You can also use this. You can also put this because this is a two port here. But I prefer to this, uh, do this. It's uh, better to see your circuit. So here uh, I'm going to put here. This is my input matching. And now we can uh, connect this. So here. And now we are going to design for the output. So uh, for the output, we can uh, check the circle. It's going to be uh, 216 and uh, we can make the 70. 216 and 70. So this time we don't have to put conjugate. So here again, uh, I'm going to do here. So let's erase this once. So this time our ZL is 50, uh, but at the uh, source part, we are going to have 216 and 70, as we said, 216, 0.216. And here is going to be 70. Erase this. Okay. So now I can lock my load and source impedance. And this is even like easier, so I can put uh, uh, like uh, from here and then uh, something very close. So then again, you can uh, drag this to the point you want. So you see, it's very easy. That's why now you come to this point. That's why I wanted to, if you remember, I chose uh, the one in the, the, the closest point. To Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to subscribe. You can learn about this topic and more using our website. The complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rahsoft.com. Rahsoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses, in RF system and IC design with pass status, Rasoft would provide the Rasoft radio frequency certificate. Thank you. See you soon.